Hey folks, Matt from Right of the Image.com. Very interesting question on the email here from Scott. Uh, the heading of the email is Should anyone buy new Nikon or Canon lenses right now? That piqued my interest. I was wondering what he was getting at here. He says, With the impending release of new mirrorless camera systems from Canon and Nikon, should anyone buy new EF or F mount lenses from either company or stick with lenses on the used market until we find out what mounts they will use? Even if they have adapters for their existing mounts, the success of adapting lenses and getting good AF and IS support hasn't been great historically. Your thoughts? Scott. Well, thank you, Scott. Good question and actually intriguing question. It got me thinking. Uh, first, I want to say, as you know, I've been reviewing, playing with, shooting the EOS M50, the wonderful Canon mirrorless M50. And a little adapter works fantastic with the EF and EFS lenses. At least it does with the 50 F1.8 that I got in. I have to assume the rest of them will work great. Uh, can't speak to using, for instance, a Sigma lens with that adapter on the camera. I've seen a reason why it wouldn't work, but I suspect it may not work quite as well as using a Canon OEM lens with that adapter as far as just focus speed and especially with the dual pixel if you're shooting in 1080. Nikon, I would like to assume, will have a similar adapter. I'm sure they'll have a similar adapter, but what I'd like to assume is that it will work as well as the adapter that Canon has brought out for theirs. I think Nikon knows when they finally come to market, we're looking at what, early 2019, they've got to knock it out of the park or they've got a big problem on their hands. This is, they've waited long enough to get into mirrorless here. If we don't look at the Nikon 1 system because that was a much smaller system, I guess technically it was mirrorless, but when they come to market with their DX and their full frame cameras in mirrorless, um, they better have it right. They better have taken the time to learn from Sony, from Panasonic, from Olympus, from everybody that's had the mirrorless out already and come to, to market with a killer product because they've waited so long, they don't really have an excuse to come to market without a mature product. So I'm going to assume with that thinking there that they're going to have an F-mount adapter and it'll work great. So that's my answer to you saying that the success of adapting lenses hasn't been good. It hasn't been sometimes, but when we look at Canon and what they've done with their adapter for the mirrorless, it works very well. I'm going to assume Nikon's going to give us something very similar. And there are some other adapter systems on the market um, that work as uh, well. You've got, you've got the ones, the speed boosters and whatnot, and some of them are pretty, pretty good too. And Sigma's got a new one coming out too, if I'm not mistaken. So my thoughts are, uh, as far as the adapters, doesn't seem to be a big deal. If I buy into the M50 system... I will get the adapter and I'll use whatever Canon lenses I want on either side. Some of them I may actually buy the EFS and use it with the adapter instead of actually buying an M series. I'm thinking specifically there. I like the 1122, the mirrorless lens, but the 10 to 18 is a fantastic lens and gets me a little bit wider. So I may do that um, on the Canon. The um, the question of should we stick with used market and wait? Well, I guess that depends what you're thinking your purchases and where your mind is at for what you might buy. If you're going to buy into the mirrorless system, if that's going to be a camera that comes out and it's awesome, that's what you want. If the Canon system is already intriguing you and you're looking at it or you're waiting for maybe a newer one because you want something a little more pro, maybe just a little higher level than the M50, then yeah, wait. If you still uh, have a DSLR, have a couple of DSLRs, still think you might buy a DSLR, then I wouldn't worry about it. And also, in the Canon lineup already, we know that, that the EF, EFS lenses work very well with the M adapters. So I wouldn't worry about it there. If you're worried that the Nikon system might not, uh, that the adapter might not be as good as Canon's, I think it will. But if you're worried about that, you can wait by all means and see. Um, if you're okay with waiting till the spring of 2019 next year, which is when we're supposed to see the new mirrorless from Nikon. But let me throw it back to you guys regarding Scott's question. Should anyone buy new or uh, Nikon or Canon lenses right now? And what about using the adapters? You've heard my response. I'm pretty favorable on that. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below if you've been shooting the Canon with the adapter. Let me know what you think. If you have experience with other adapters, positive or negative, let us know. Um, Let's get some uh, response on this and see what the general consensus is out there. Um, thanks for your question, Scott. Uh, looking forward to hear what you guys have to say. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.